kick was smart. Chris Smythe first arrived on the state football scene in the early 1980s after signing with Sandy Bay. It was there he was given the nickname Smurf. Most of the teammates got sick of trying to pronounce the surname Smythe, so Smurf was easier and uh, it just sounded, uh, it sounded more efficient uh, on the playing ground. Andy Bennett's friendship with Smythe began when he became Seagulls coach in 1986. He was hugely self-effacing and to give him any sort of credit and build him up, I had to do that very quietly on the side. The pair then went on to form a dynamic partnership in the ABC commentary box for more than a decade. You would never see him criticise one player. You never criticise a team or a result for effort. He, he deeply understood how difficult that game can be. It's a clear fine day. There's hardly a breath of wind. It's a little bit chilly. It's about 10 degrees, but occasionally the sun peeps through. What I'll never forget as a commentary colleague was that beaming ear-to-ear -ear smile. I mean, he always seems so happy to see you. Could have got a free. The umpire calls play on. Campbell over the top. This will be a goal to Cameron Brown. More recently, Smythe worked for the University of Tasmania and was known as a deep thinker with a passion for the arts. His uh, daughters, Grace and Kate, we send our best wishes to them and the entire Smythe family. But it's a very sad day for all of us and as I said, it came as a great shock and uh, the great fella was very popular. Smythe died from a heart attack on Monday at just 57 years of age. Current restrictions will prevent a large funeral service from going ahead, with a wake for those that can't attend being planned for a later date. Every conversation I would have finished with Chris ended with a laugh. I think the more I think about the times I spent with him, the more appreciative I am of having known him. Brent Costello, Win News.